Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ellie here from Vikings War Clans and in today's video we're going to be looking at something that's been requested quite a bit on Discord. So we're going to be going in depth with the secret achievements, the bonuses they give and which ones are best to work on first. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you drop down below, leave a like and subscribe. Um, on a positive note, we'll finally hit our goal of 100 subscribers, so thank you so much to all of you guys. And make sure you, you uh, <coughs> make sure you comment in what you either want to see next or what you thought of the video. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about secret achievements. As you can see here, about 90% of mine are maxed, or very close to max, so that's why I'm able to make this video for you guys. Um, basically, I've, I've had the experience of like going through them. So, we're going to be talking about the ones that you can't necessarily see, because they're hidden. Uh, hence the name Secret Achievements. And this is going to be mainly helpful for newer players, or people that aren't really sure about what they need to do. Trust us, I've been there. Um, so obviously the first thing to consider is that they're secret achievements so this is going to mean that after each level you complete of uh, one of them you're going to have to wait three hours to get your gold reward um, obviously some rewards are going to be better than others it's just completely dependent on the achievement it is always going to give out gold the variable of how much it is will vary with each achievement though so the first achievement we're going to be talking about is Troll. Um, this achievement requires you to kill X amount of troops whilst having a negative fighting repute. Um, I'm going to put on the screen now where all of the statistics that are required for it. Okay, so on screen right now you can see all of the requirements for every single level. A good point to note is that you've got to be Castle 32 or above to max this achievement. Um, at the bottom you can see the total given out gold is 167 million. Okay, so the next achievement I want to talk about is Cannonball Baron. Um, very quickly, I didn't see this in the uh, intro, but I'm not going to be going into depth with all of them. Just the ones that I find will be um, the most helpful for you guys that are trying to grow. So Cannonball Baron, when maxed, it gives a 50% march speed. Um, I'll put on screen now... Um, all of the requirements for it as you can see mine isn't maxed that's because level 10 takes 660 i believe off the top of my head but yeah so i'll put the requirements on screen now okay so right here you can see all of the um requirements for this achievement it takes palace 33 and 650 exiles i was wrong but the total give out is 85 million gold so again quite good okay so the next achievement we're going to talk about is the bloody yarl right here um this is probably the second most expensive achievement most expensive one we're going to see next that's planner but for this one you've got to train t7s and get rid of them so t7s i'd obviously recommend you get them maxed before you even start to think about this achievement um probably max your training gear as well as your manners as well um just to make it that bit cheaper because obviously it's going to cost a fortune it did for me i haven't even started on the next five levels yet because i'm waiting to get maxed before i even look at it so we'll put the requirements up on screen of levels one to ten and then yeah okay so on screen right now you can see all of the requirements for each level you can see that it's really expensive the higher that you go. I mean, level 15 is 8 billion T7. It's, it's quite a lot. Um, however, in return, it does give really good gold. I mean, the total gold payout for this achievement is 2.17 billion. So, yeah. Another good thing to take note of with this achievement is the bonuses it gives out. Um, it gives out really high bonuses against T5s, T6 and T7s. But it also gives warrior training speed uh, bonuses. And when it's maxed, it's it's huge. Um, so I definitely recommend working on it. I'm not going to see a rush and get it done because it's not necessary, but definitely work on it. Okay, so this is probably the most expensive and the most painful achievement to work on. Um, mine's currently sat at level 7 and I'm not sure if I'm going to get it much higher. I'll probably go for level 8 before CVC. 
Um, but yeah, planner, you basically you've got to destroy build your buildings up to level thirty three, and then you've got to destroy them, which is a massive pain. But as you can see, total health that's it goes up quite a lot each time, and I definitely recommend working on it as much as you can as it's going to give you loads of advantages when fighting in towns or fortresses so yeah i'll put on screen right now all the requirements and i've also got something that will be a bit of an advantage for you guys working on it okay so the minimum palace level is going to be palace 33 and as you can see <coughs> Excuse me, as you can see from the requirements, it is going to take a while. I mean, level 9's 220, level 10's 640. That just shows how expensive it's going to be as well in the long run. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth it for all of the fighting bonuses. So, I'm going to show you what's best to upgrade. And on screen right now, you can see all of the building requirement costs. So... Obviously, a farm is the cheapest, so that's what I use, as it's going to save money, resources and boosts in the long run, which you can spend on troops or knowledge. Okay, so finally, this is the last one we're going to look at. Um, this is the Conqueror of Bifrost achievement. This has to do with gathering a certain amount of legendary gems and transforming them into dust, and then applying a shield after for X amount of time. Um, it is. It does get harder as the levels go up. Obviously, for most of the levels, you can get the gems from tasks that you require. Um, when I show the requirements for each level, I'll explain which ones you can get from tasks, which ones you get you get from invaders. But it is a very good achievement to have when it comes to fighting, as it gives a total offense boost of eighty percent, and to have that against someone else when you're still quite a small player. It's going to give you a, a bigger advantage than they think that you would have. So let's have a look at what it requires. Okay, so here's the requirements. As you can see, you've got to combine the gems, wear a shield, and then remove it. What you can do is activate the amount of shield that is required, and then keep it for three seconds and attack someone, then reshield again, like with just an eight hour, and that still counts as well. So yeah. Okay guys, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure you're heading down below and subscribe and like in the video. Make sure you leave a comment of what you want to see next. Um, thanks so much for the support already and let's hope that I can grow a bit more. Thank you.